guys, it's Heather here. Just coming to you tonight to show you how I have chosen to organize my patterns. Now, I know everyone has their own specific way they like to do it. I personally would have liked to have the actual binders with the sleeve pockets with the information inside so you can kind of just flip through but I have over 500 patterns so that would add bulk to my sewing room so this is the way I've chosen to do it and also because I can just access it through a link that does not take a lot of space and memory on my phone as I had before. I used to use Google Photos, but I've chosen to use this program by the name Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. And how Trello works is you basically can add lists, which you see here. I have regular dresses, I have shirt dresses, maxi dresses, evening dresses. You can make whatever list you want. I have a lot of lists actually. And as you can see right here, it says add another list. So you can add another list and then within that list are the cards that you add. Each and those run vertically up and down. Um, each pattern is a card and when you let's, let's put I guess let me pick one in the middle for example this one here make it a little bigger so you guys can see I have that card in here and this is Vogue 1604 and you can go in each card and add attachments for example um, I have the line drawings right here I also have the actual picture of the cover of the pattern and I also well the first one was line drawings and measurements and then I also have just the line drawings and I love it because you know what I'm always thinking on the go and to have all of this information at the tip of my fingers, I love it. It's great. Um, also, what I like, for example, I have evening dresses and vintage dresses. To move one card to another list is so simple. See? I can just drag it and drop it. Um, again when you're dealing with cards and entering information the best part about this that i like is that you have labels for example you can come in here and create any label you want i only have two or three because it took me so long to upload everything um for example on Kara makes on the bias and items sewn with notes. There are two patterns that I have in here, which is Vogue 1697. And also there's another pattern that I have in here and that's McCall 7931. Those two I plan to sew on the bias. So what I did was I came onto the actual card and here you can add labels. So say I make a label saying silky fabrics, I can add it to this card so that when I'm searching in my database and I wanna come over here and find something on the bias that's silky, all I have to do is click it and you see that little check. There are a couple of patterns that I wanna make with Ankara fabric. This is one of them and the other one my mouse is giving me trouble today. The other one's right over here. I don't know why you're not going. Giving me a hard time, but that's where it is. I have both of them checked on Cara and Bias. Those will come up, and because I have not 
put a lot of labels on here when I cl click no labels. You see I have 561 patterns come up and then the Ankara makes adds two more and on the bias should add Actually, I only have one more on the bias. I should have two for some reason. That's weird because I know I'm not crazy. Oh, yeah, I have two. That one and that one. But just being able to make labels to pull up certain things very quickly that I like quite a bit. And as I said before, I have 561 patterns in here that I have not put labels on yet. So with that being said, <laughs> I have a lot to do. But again, um, another great thing about this right here, um, you can make it private or you can have a team of people. Um, like for example, my niece was helping me. So I added her so she could have access to this to help me. I can make it public, but for right now, after everything's in, I went ahead and I made it private. So, <clears throat> I mean, I, I really like this. I know everybody does different things for their organization, but this is the way that I have chosen to do mine. So just a quick, say I wanted to add another list, right? You go here, you say, say red outfits. Let's just do that real quick, add list. And then what you do, now that I have the red, you go and you add a card. Red, I should have put that in capital, but I didn't. So you go to add a card and you put in say 6585 is the pattern of the card and now that you have that number in there when you click on that you can add an attachment go to your computer for example pick a pattern cover and the last one that you add will be your cover for example let's say i add another attachment um, let's say I add this one right here. You'll see now it says remove cover. So that's basically telling you that this one is the cover. This one was the cover until I added this one. So if I want to make this one my cover, I would hit make cover. But I use the pattern picture because that's what I like to see. And then you can come in here and add your labels if you want it to have a label or in the description, make notes of something you've sewn before, what size, what kind of fabric. You can do the do, but um, I'm going to kill this one. I'm going to archive it. Um, archive this list. That was just an example. So I don't want to drag it out any longer. I've been here almost 10 minutes, but this is just a great idea, I think, to be able to have all your patterns, you know, put them in order the way you want to put them in order. It's very easy to move things around. This is what I use to keep my pattern storage somewhat in one spot. Um, I do have them filed away in very pretty hat boxes. So whatever I decide to use, I come here first. I find it. And then this is a picture of where I go to pull them out. And they're in numerical order. So again, just sharing, ladies. Love you and talk to you soon.